Jesse Gonder batting one out, nobody on. Last half of the fifth inning. Change up, a line drive. Oh, knocked down by Taylor. He throws to first in time. Well, we still have a long way to go on this ball game, but if Bunning should pitch a no-hitter, that's the play in the field they'll be talking about. Jim Bunning has retired 25 consecutive batters. Not a base runner. Nobody on by virtue of an error. No walks, no hit batsmen. That means the pressure's been on on every pitch of the ball game. Here's a two-strike delivery. Swung out and missed. He struck him out. So now, Johnny Stevenson is going to bat for Tom Sturdivant. Jim Bunning walks around behind the mound, restless, unable to stay still, because he knows what is in his, within his grasp now. Something that has not been done in a regular season National League game since 1880 and has not been done in the major league since 1922. A perfect game. He starts the motion. Here's the pitch to John Stevenson. Swung out and missed for strike one. In this ball game, Jim Bunning has struck out nine, and of course he has walked none. The crowd now riding on every pitch. Bunning smooths out a little dirt in front of the rubber. He goes to the rosin bag, toes the rubber, rubs the baseball off on his trouser leg. Now looks in to get a sign from Gus Triandos. As it starts the no-wind-up delivery, the strike one pitch is a breaking ball in there for a call strike two. It was a breaking ball, a sharp breaking curveball, and Johnny Stevenson watched it over. So now, again, Jim Bunning goes to the rosin bag. He's standing there on the mound, rubbing the baseball. One pitch away from a perfect game here at Shea Stadium in New York. Again, rubs off his thumb on the trouser leg, looks in to get the sign. The crowd is up all over this ballpark. They're standing. The two-strike pitch, it's low for a ball. As Stevenson watched it over, all around this ballpark now, the fans are up and on their feet as he started the motion. They started rising, and that's a sight to see. The count is one ball and two strikes. He went to the rosin bag again. Takes a deep breath, now bends from the waist, hands on his knees, throws the rubber, looks in for the sign. Listen to the crowd. They're up all around. Here is the one-two pitch to Stevenson. Outside for a ball, and it's two and two. Jim Bunning gets the ball now, walks back behind the rubber again, goes to the rosin bag. On a hot, hot day at Chase Stadium, the first day of summer, the pressure's been on him on every pitch of the ball game because he knows what he's trying to achieve. The 2-2 pitch. Try out and miss. He struck him out. It's a perfect game. The Phillies race out of the dugout, and they grab Jim Bunning. The Phillies are all around Jim Bunning. He has pitched a perfect game. They're slapping him on the back all around. And now he is coming slowly on over toward the dugout. Jim Bunning has pitched a perfect game, the first time it's been done in the National League since the year of 1880. The final totals of this ball game, the Philadelphia Phillies six runs on eight hits and no errors. The New York Mets no runs on no hits and no errors. The fans are up and chanting, we want Bunning. Well, I think they're going to get him. But here's Jim Bunning coming out onto the field. Jim Bunning is coming out and listen to the ovation he's getting as he shakes hands with Ralph Kiner. And now his wife has come out of the stands. Here is Mrs. Bunning who has come out and here's a big kiss for Jim. That is his wife who just came out of the stands. She came up from Philadelphia and she's standing there beside him now. And there comes his daughter. On Father's Day, his daughter with a big kiss for Jim Bunning. A 